thoughts. I'm waiting for that perfect opportunity. And then I start with the tightest turn, holding, and then releasing into my right lane. Hey guys, it's Jacqueline. And for the next few minutes, we're gonna think about how to make a U-turn on a busy street. So let's say I'm driving down this road and I realize that the place I want to go is across the street on the other side of the road. I'm going to have to find a spot to make a U-turn. So first thing I'm going to do is get into the left lane like I just did. You can only make a U-turn from the left lane. Next, I have to find a safe and legal place where I'm allowed to make a, a, a U-turn. And I am allowed to make a U-turn as long as it doesn't say, no U-turn allowed. Next, I'm gonna position myself and wait. Because this is an unprotected intersection, which means there's no light stopping the people coming toward me, I have to wait until there's a safe gap so that I can make my U-turn and then accelerate without disturbing the flow of traffic behind me. And I'm gonna get into a left lane again so we can practice in a different spot. An important thing to remember is that when you make a U-turn, you are allowed to complete your U-turn in the right lane. Of course, you're gonna cross over two lanes of traffic when you make that U-turn. So you have to make sure both lanes of traffic are clear and that any traffic in the right lane where you're going to land is far enough away that you will not disturb them. So now I'm driving down the road and I realize I want to go to the movie theater. It's on the left hand side. So I want to make a U-turn. I'm going to get into the left turn lane. I have a dedicated left turn arrow and I'm looking and I do not see a sign that says no U-turn. So I am legally allowed to make my U-turn. I'm looking behind that left turn arrow sign and I do see a faded no U-turn sign. So I think actually I'm not going to make the U-turn here. At first I didn't see it. So I thought that I would be able to make a U-turn and I'm not even sure if that U-turn sign was for me or for someone, maybe the traffic going straight but just because I'm trying to be a good role model, I'm not gonna make a U-turn unless I'm absolutely sure. Up here, I see very clearly that I'm not allowed to make a U-turn, so I won't even try. I trust that if I see a, new, a no U-turn sign, it's because the city has studied the area and they don't think we have enough room or enough time to safely make the U-turn. Another no U-turn sign there. I'm still waiting to make my U-turn. This will be my spot. So I'm paying attention to the pedestrian that's gonna let me go, but I'm saying no after you. I'm going to go out into the center area, turn my wheel the farthest it can go. So I wrap around and then center back. So the important thing about making a U-turn is making sure you do it in a space where you are safe. You will not interfere with traffic coming toward you. You also wanna make sure you're legal. You don't wanna accidentally make a U-turn in a no U-turn spot because then you could get a ticket. And you also just wanna visually map out the space and just make sure that the size of your vehicle is going to fit in the space provided. And here we are thinking about wanting to make a U-turn. So I'm looking for a space where it's safe. I see a left turn lane. There isn't a sign that says don't make a U-turn. 
The red car popped out a little further than I would have liked. They were blocking my space, so I'm just gonna let them go. To make my U-turn, I wanna make sure there's no pedestrians from this back corner. I wanna make sure both oncoming lanes are clear. I'm also keeping track of any right turning car because of course I'm gonna end up in the right lane. And then my U-turn is complete. Let's make another U-turn here. I go into the left turn lane. I make sure there's no sign that says don't make a U-turn. I'm monitoring oncoming traffic. They're far enough away that I can make my turn, accelerate, and continue in the right lane without disturbing the flow of traffic. That's the only safe and legal way to make a U-turn. And this is my next opportunity. And it is at a dedicated left arrow spot, which makes it safer for me and everybody else. It makes sense that the city has set up these opportunities to make U-turns in the most safe ways. Again, because a U-turning car crosses in front of two oncoming lanes of traffic, it's really important to make sure that it's safe and everybody's got room and time. So I make my U-turn, the car behind me is making their U-turn, and we both made it safely. I'm going to go ahead and position myself for another U-turn here. I can see I've got a nice wide space to work with. No signs that say it's illegal. I'm monitoring two oncoming lanes of traffic, and I'm also keeping track of the left corner where a pedestrian could come. I wouldn't want to start a U-turn and then meet a pedestrian crossing. I'm tracking the speed of the oncoming cars. I'm waiting for that perfect opportunity. And then I start with the tightest turn, holding, and then releasing into my right lane. Let's go down the road and we'll see if there's a couple more U-turn spots. I think you probably have figured out that I'm thinking about three things when I'm looking for a place to make a U-turn. I'm making sure it's legal, so I make sure there isn't a sign that says no U-turn. I'm making sure that I have enough room for my car, so I'm looking for a wide space I can work with, and I'm making sure it's safe and that there aren't any oncoming cars or pedestrians that I would interact with. And if we can make a U-turn at a spot where we have a dedicated arrow, that's the safest scenario for us. But if we have to make a U-turn from a spot that's unprotected, we can do that too. And we'll do one last U-turn up here. I see the dedicated left turn lane. As I'm going toward it, I'm looking for any signs that say no U-turn, it looks clear. I'm monitoring oncoming traffic. I see the truck that just came out of its parking lot and I know because it just turned onto the road it's not moving very fast. I made my U-turn and accelerated without disturbing the flow of traffic. And that's my goal. Thank you for checking in today to do some work around making U-turns in busy spaces. Remember, you're gonna look for a spot that's legal, that's wide enough for your vehicle, and that is safe. And you're never going to make a U-turn in any space that would disturb the flow of traffic. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again another time soon. Thanks.